Well, hello, and welcome to a video on how I open and close my sliding door on my 1979 Volkswagen bus. So, when I pop this lever, you'll see that the back end pop out very easily. And the whole door slides all the way back. Nice and cleanly. Um, one of the YouTubers. Uh, yeah, see, that's supposed to be captured up there. That's not supposed to float. And behind this panel are the adjustable screws, which allow you to move this up and down. So it seems that their upper roller may be broken. Um, because it, it had dropped down, it was flexible. Now the other part that I wanted to show, so I don't have to go inside here. And, well, you gotta close the door from inside. Apologize. It's, it's supposed to be locked. So to, to unlock it, you pull this to about here. And then you go back here, you see right there? Right here is the handle that you grab. Make sure I'm sitting properly. You grab this handle and you pull that, just like that. And try it again. And you open it from the inside, this pops. Go fast enough. Not even there. There you go. So you do have to give it a little effort, but it's much gentler on the door pulling from here than actually pulling this slider and slamming the door shut. That'll really loosen up your jalousies and mess up your jalousies if they're not completely shut. And it's just hard on the whole, all the locking mechanisms involved. Now, if your door isn't as opening uh, or closing as easy as mine, then, again, I recommend WD-40 to flush all of the different rollers. You've got one down here and this track under here. Which I'll come out during the day and show you the track. It's pretty clean. So again, I wipe it down and then I spray it with uh, chain wax. <laughs> it's actually a dry wax. And uh, key and peel much. Key and peel much. Uh, I use chain wax. And um, on all these slides, you can see how clean this upper slide is. And oh, she, I think. You, it was bent in the lower portion, but again, this should be sparkling clean, and uh, these should roll easily. And the same thing back here. So again, if it's closed, you have to lift up. If it's locked, and then to close it from outside, you come back here. Put your hands right here. Right here. Almost got it. A little, harder. A little harder. Just popped right back off. There you go. There you go. So yeah, it's not easy, but that's the leverage. Um, and then under here, you've got this channel. Um, and they're actually, as you can see, plastic sliders. So you've got to make sure that this channel is constantly clean. And mine's got some rust I need to take care of. Uh, but, again, I wipe this thing clean. I'm constantly looking for my daubers or wasps under there. Um, so there you go. So there's a quick... Maybe not so quick. But that's how I open and close my door. And uh, hopefully that will give you some insight 
as to what your door should look like and how your door should operate. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Love you later. Bye.